This is a peek into my journal while living on a 29-foot sailboat in the Caribbean. We bought Urani in Grenada two weeks ago, and now we're sailing north through San Lucia and Martinique. Thoughts of January 1st, 2024, after taking a day off to rest without internet in an anchorage with no people, just abandoned boats and us. It's been a couple of weeks since we started our trip and I'm loving it. The landscapes are as gorgeous as they could possibly be and I am enjoying the sailing bit. When we get into the boat for a passage, there are no distractions beyond the boat, the sea, one another and my own thoughts. So it feels like time stops for a bit and I can focus 100% on the moment. It feels as if we were gaining time. Everything looks like a dog. <laughs> Surrounded by the blue of the sea, the breeze caresses our cheeks and the sun warms up our bodies. It is quite a relaxing feeling and all together makes me feel grounded. Good morning, Canada. <laughs> Are you the, the boat on my port side? Correct. That is correct. Welcome to the Caribbean. <laughs> Thank you. I love how the blues change every day. The sea is as alive as we are, ever changing. And it always has something new to show us. Something new to teach us. So many. There's so many. <laughs> We're also discovering so many countries and islands and I feel very much in my element. Traveling is my favorite thing to do. Seeing how people live in the other side of the world and confirming one more time that we all just seek love and connection. The cultural differences just create funny situations after all, like when we had to dodge fire balloons shooting into our boat from a beach resort, trying to entertain their guests. Rick, what are you doing? <laughs> Sending the boat from the fire balloons. What's happening with the fire balloons? <laughs> if it comes any close to our sails, we're on fire. That one was close. <laughs> We're slowly becoming water creatures. Staying longer on the water. Feeling more comfortable with the salt on our skin. Getting to know the fish underneath our boat. We take care of the underside of Urini removing barnacles and other stuff that grows on the hull. I can see your whole body. It's so, 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 so transparent. We swim from the boat at least once a day. And explore the underwater life that we now are part of. We also started feeding from it. This is our first fish in the trip! In the whole trip, Rick! Can you believe it? You have to clarify that the lionfish is an invasive species. I'm just uh, exploring what fish they are. Maybe I see the sculptures all wrecked. Matilde and Noor helped us in this process by teaching us about the importance of connecting mind and body when it comes to free diving. We just need to relax as much as possible and keep our mind blank to lower oxygen consumption. The water contributes to the relaxation. I think learning how to intentionally relax was the biggest lesson of the class and I hope we can bring this more into our lives. Thank you for the diving lesson! Thank you guys! Thank you. We're also appreciating the joy of eating out here. For some reason, everything tastes better on a boat and we're celebrating it a few times a day. Since we don't have a big fridge, we buy fresh produce almost every day and that's what we eat mostly. In Martinique, 
We also had the privilege of cheese and croissants, and we couldn't be more grateful to the Frenchies for their relatively cheap supermarkets. Little bit of cheese. Mini pizza made by Rick. We're also learning more about sailing. Deciding what course to take, when to read the sails, what safety procedures we think make sense. So I am taking myself to the rope in case there was a moment in which the boat was to feel too much, pushes me down to the sea. So that way I'm safe. And how to tell if the sea is too rough for our comfort. A couple of times, a wave came into the cockpit and showered us fully. When that happens, sometimes we also tend to get nauseous. We don't love those rough passages and do our best to avoid them. May we keep learning this way for a bit, and at some point, when we feel it's time, head back home to our families and friends. The beauty of our trip is that we started it knowing it would end once we reached the Northern Caribbean. Right now, we're between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, and we're putting Urani up for sale. If you're interested, email us at urani4sale at gmail.com.